Hi there, my name is Melinda from Connecting with Littles and today I want to share about how you can show care to someone, to a mom, to a family that has gone through a miscarriage. I realize some people were asking how, uh, people sometimes ask how to show care. Maybe miscarriage isn't often talked about openly. But I think it is something that should be discussed openly because many women go through miscarriage. And it can be a hard time. But no one should need to carry the burden alone. So I want to share some ways that you could show care to someone who has had a miscarriage. I had a miscarriage between my second and third babies. And I know I didn't struggle as bad as some women have that I know with the miscarriage because I kind of had plenty of time to prepare my mind for the possibility and I also was sure it was I was going to be able to have more children in the future that it wasn't like an issue of fertility just something that happened and I remember some of the things that stood out special to me in that time now by now it doesn't really affect me, I sometimes think of the baby I lost, it was an early miscarriage. I would have liked to meet that baby and I trust someday in heaven I will be able to. But it doesn't really affect my life, but I still wanted to share this ways to show care to a mom who has gone through a miscarriage recently. So that maybe you can be a blessing to someone. So I want to say it's the thought that counts. There's no way to take away someone's pain. And this might not just go for miscarriage. I'm sharing this because this is my experience. But there's other hard things many people have gone through. And there's ways that you can share. Uh, share care. Show care. And so you could use these ideas for anything else if you don't know where to get started. But specifically let's talk about miscarriage because that's what has happened to me. And so far I haven't lo lost close family members. It's been a lot of things that I haven't gone through. So anyway, it's the thought that counts. You cannot take away a mom's pain. You cannot make it all better. A family's pain because while I do like to s talk about the mom, in all of this I want to remember the families too. Depending how old the children are, they suffer from it. The dad, depending the situation has a hard time with having lost a baby too. But the mom, on top of the emotional pain and having carried her child, she has to go through physical recovery without a baby. And often a miscarriage recovery can be pretty hard. It's even harder sometimes than postpartum almost because you don't have a baby and the happy hormones that you get from having a baby to hold. And so, you won't be able to make them feel better in the sense that taking away their pain, but you will be able to give them some hope, let someone know that you're thinking of them, and give them some cheer and some care, and that goes a long way. I know for me it meant a lot. Some friends who drove out of the way to bring me a bouquet of flowers, just a hug from someone else, a kind message. My mom brought me a pair of slippers. I don't. I, I think she had bought them for me beforehand already, but she came when I was having the miscarriage and she brought them and those slippers were special for me. Now they've gotten, had to pitch them already. But all those things can be special things that I remember, the ways that people showed me that they cared. So whatever you do, it's just showing your care in a simple way can go a long way to give someone courage to get up and keep on going, to feel loved in the moment of the difficulty. One thing you can do is send a message that almost anyone with these modern day facilities of email or WhatsApp or whatever, you can send a message and that doesn't cost anything more than a minute of your time. Maybe a month after this thing happened or whenever if you remember. Just checking in saying, hey, I'm thinking about it, you can mean a lot. You can make a card or a letter, send that. You can, a gift doesn't take any way, 
away any of the problem but you can give a little gift like I mentioned flowers I'll link down below some resources that I that or some gifts that you can give uh, a, pay, a link to my resource page where you can order some gifts if you would like for someone who has had a miscarriage that could be something special slippers whatever thing you think of and I think gift baskets are a really neat idea you can put a lot of this stuff in there bath bombs an encouraging book a soft blanket something a picture frame to somehow remember the baby that they lost you can do something to cheer them up you could also if you don't know what to give maybe a gift card or gift certificate you know sometimes when we're going through hard things and like I said I haven't gone through hardest things but just to have something little comfort something <laughs> snacks comforting snacks anything like that you could also if you're in the area bring a meal to a family that has a mom that has recently had a miscarriage because I remember after mine I was surprised how hard recovery was and somehow having someone bring a warm meal when the mom isn't able to cook for her family as well or is struggling it can mean a lot and one thing and one more thing I'd like to mention is going to visit now but this one you have to be mindful of who it is because we're all different I would have been the kind that I'd be happy to have visitors in this time. I, But there's other moms who would prefer just to be left alone, so be mindful of that, or maybe ask the mom what she'd prefer. Depending how recent it is and so on, don't take a bunch of rowdy children over. Uh, depending if she's struggling with her health and with recovery, maybe you could help with dishes or something. There's so much you can do to show your care. And I'm grateful for the people who showed care to me and I try to remember to spread that on to others, to spread love and care in the difficult times because we can help lighten loads. We can't take the loads, but we can help lighten them just a wee bit. Pray for whoever's going through these struggles. So I just want to say, if you've been watching this, thank you for caring for moms, for any anyone going through a hard time because I say moms and I talk about miscarriage because that's my experience like I said before but there's countless different ways different hard times that you could bless someone with so go and spread cheer and I hope people can do the same for you thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video Hi there, my name is Melissa.